Hey everybody, it's Alan, and I hope you are doing well. I want to celebrate the birthday of one of my favorite comedy singer, songwriters, and artists, Mr. Tim Minchin, who celebrates his birthday today, October 7th. We're going to listen to him perform a song called Not Perfect. This is my earth And I live in it It's one third dirt And two thirds water And it rotates and revolves through space At rather an impressive pace And never even messes up my hair And here's a really weird thing the force created by its spin Is the force that stops the chaos flooding in This is my earth And it's fine It's where I spend the vast majority of my time It's not perfect But it's mine it's not perfect This is my country And I live in it It's pretty big and nice to walk on And the bloke who runs my country has built a demagoguery and taught us to be fearful and boring and the weirdest thing is that he is conservative of politics but really rather radical of eyebrow this is my country and it's fine it's where I spend the vast majority of my time It's not perfect, but it's mine It's not perfect This is my house And I live in it it's made of cracks and photographs We rented off a guy who bought it from a guy Who bought it from a guy Whose granddad left it to him And the weirdest thing is that this house Has locks to keep the baddies out But they're mostly used to lock ourselves in. This is my house and it's fine It's where I spend the vast majority of my time It's not perfect, but it's mine It's not perfect, but it's mine is my body and I live in it it's 31 and six months old it's changed a lot since it was new it's done stuff it wasn't built to do I often try to fill it up with wine and the weirdest thing about it is I spend so much time hating it But it never says a bad word about me This is my body and it's fine It's where I spend the vast majority of my time It's 
not perfect, but it's mine. It's not perfect. This is my brain. And I live in it. It's made of love and bad song lyrics. It's tucked away behind my eyes Where all my fucked up thoughts can hide Cause God forbid I hurt somebody And the weirdest thing about a mind Is that every answer that you find Is the basis of a brand new cliche This is my brain and it's fine It's where I spend the vast majority of my time It's not perfect But it's mine It's not perfect But it's mine It's not perfect not quite sure I've worked out how to work it. It's not perfect, but it's Thank you. That's an absolutely, absolutely stunning song. He is really an intelligent songwriter. He's grown a lot over the years. I remember the first time I paid attention to Tim Minchin was probably 20 years ago, and I fell over laughing. I can't even remember what it was, but it was one of his live comedy concerts. I think it was on HBO. I can't remember, to be completely honest with you, but I was crying crying laughing but something in the middle of it happened and and I realized how genius the lyrics were in a lot of his songs and how much they sort of spoke to me in a way that other material just didn't it's intelligent comedy it engages the thought process and it gets the brain going wait a second he's actually saying something really really enlightening it's kind of in a way, and again, I'm not quite going there, but it's kind of in a way is if you put the genius of George Carlin to comedy music, and, 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 and it's again, I'm not quite going there. I can't make that comparison directly, but there is some semblance of, of the way that Tim presents his ideas that has this sort of Carlin-esque type of commentary. And think about a song like It's Not Perfect. None of us are perfect, not a single one of us. And if you think somebody is perfect, well, frankly, you're missing the flaws. And it's out there. There's, there's a lot of imperfection out there. And the question is, how much imperfection can we live with? How much imperfection is, is not a flaw? Do you know what I mean? It's like those who sit there and try to be perfect or claim to be perfect or act as if they are perfect are usually the ones with the biggest skeletons in the closet. They're usually the ones with the biggest problems and the most imperfections. And so there's a little bit of a buyer beware aspect of things. You know, you can have a really, really, really shiny package with a crappy toy inside of it. And um, I think that's generally sort of the warning I'm getting off of this particular song. It's like, you know... The beauty in individuals is the flaws, okay? If we were all identical and everything was perfect, then there would be nothing that sets us aside, apart from one another or aside from other people. And, you know, there's perfect imperfection, if that makes any sense. And, you know, 
I, I try to accept people for who they are. I try to accept things for what they are and try not to cast my own thoughts upon them, if that makes any sense. And unfortunately, empathy is a characteristic that we have long since forgotten how to teach people. And so we're in a situation now where the world is revolving around people who think it has to be their way or no way at all. And it's just not true. It's just not true. You know, I could spin off into a commentary, but I'm not going to, mostly because the painkillers from my arm surgery are starting to really, really, really kick in and my head's getting a little foggy. But I wanted to make sure I did a video tribute for Tim Minchin. I wasn't actually going to do this today, but... You know, I was finished with my videos for the day and I was like, wait a second, I didn't do a Tim Minchin video. So this is an extra one, if you will. Um, with that said, happy birthday to this great singer, songwriter and artist. He, he really is somebody that uh, I wish more people would watch and listen to. It's, it's impressive. With that said, hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate all of you. And I wish you well. Take care.